What's going on YouTube? Brad Babes here. Uh, today we're going to be doing a review on these Tango 2 dual coil clear misers. Um, it's going to try and be a, a short video, so we're going to get straight into close-ups, going to talk about it, talk about all the specs, talk about what I like and don't like, and then we'll try and make it as short and sweet as possible. Okay, so before we open these two boxes and have a look at everything, I just want to see these came from usig.co.uk, so uh, thanks to them for giving us these products to review. Um, so we'll have a look at the clear misers first, and then we'll look at the... Um, the, the cartonizer box which just comes with the heads. Um, so I got a five pack, I think it was, I think it was a five pack, and it came in this Eagle battery box, which uh, they're not Eagle batteries, but that's obviously just the easiest way of storing them. So we have the red, the yellow, the green, the blue and the purple, and we also have this white one that was included, and this white one was uh, laid across here, and this is really nicely packaged, um, although it is in an Eagle battery box, um, it's been packaged really nice and what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the green one because this is the only other one that we opened and then we're going to talk about all the specs and have a look at it close up. Okay so this is how the Tango 2 clear misers will arrive. They'll be in a little plastic sleeve which you can take off. There's a little drip tip protector. You can take that off and as you can see it's already got like a built in drip tip so you don't have to worry about drip tips. Then all you got to do is take this bottom piece off and then you can fill this tank up put it back on and you're ready to vape. So we're going to talk about the price. Uh, they are only £3.20, which in my opinion for the performance uh, that I'm getting with these dual coil heads, um, you really can't complain with £3.20 for a clear miser of this quality, which is perfect for a beginner. And um, like you've seen before, it comes in blue, clear, purple, red and yellow. This is the box which the heads came in, so we'll quickly take these out and we'll have a quick talk about these. So this is a little uh, packet which the heads come in and all of these heads are 1.6 ohms um, and they basically just peel back the metal, the foil even. And then you've got these little heads which are absolutely tiny. Um, I've tried my hardest to take one of these apart but this top piece just doesn't come off. I thought maybe this whole piece would come off but it just, it, it was impossible for me to do so maybe someone else out there will be able to do it but I can't. These heads are only £2 each and Usig, uh, UK claims that they last 20 to 40 mils of e-liquid, which in my opinion, two pound to be able to vape that much liquid is a really good price, um, because other heads out there uh, that I've used back in my day, um, did die before that amount of liquid. And it works with the Tango 2, Kanga Pro Tank 3, Aero Tank, and the J Tank series. On the website, I read that you can use EVOD 1 coils and Kanga Pro Tank coils, and to refill them, it's as simple as taking off this ego threaded section, filling down the side, not down the centre hole, and then you just fill it up to the fill line, which is here on the side, it says refill, and then you put this back on, this base section, then you just screw it on, and then you can screw it on to any device which has got ego threading, or if you've not got a device that's got ego threading, then you can get an ego to 510 adapter that you can use. Here's what I've been using it on. I've been using the clear version with my red Astaire juice, which you all know that I vape all the time, so I'll notice any muted in flavours, or I'll notice if it tastes any different. And I've been using it on the iTaste VV V3, which there'll be a link up here to that review. And yeah, so we'll just cut the chase and we'll talk about how it vapes, and I'll talk about what I like and dislike. Okay, so I'm gonna vape this at around four volts. Um, just because I feel like that's where I get the best flavour and the best video production from this. Okay, so this is the Tango 2 with dual coil heads on an iTaste VV running at 4 volts with a 1.6 ohm head with some 50-50 PGVG juice, which is my good old favourite red stair. You can see the vapor production is really good. Um, that's because it's got quite loose, uh, quite a loose draw. Um, some people don't like a loose draw on their devices, but as you can see, it's uh, quite loose. I could do a full mouth to lung inhale uh, really quickly. It does take a, a second or two to heat up, but that could just be down to the setup that I'm using. But uh, I find that when it does heat up, uh, the settings that I've got it set to are perfect for me. Um, Things I like about it is it looks really cool. I like how it's see through. I like how the whole tank and the drip tip are just all in one. I like the clear one personally the most because you can see the colour of your liquid inside. Like if I was going to use the blue one, my red stair would probably look a little bit black, which would look a bit weird. Um, 
the heads, um, I don't like that you can't take them apart because I personally like to rebuild my heads. Um, so in the long run this will probably be quite a bit more expensive than if you were going to get a RBA or heads that you can rebuild like in the pro tanks. Um, ego threaded, uh, it might be nice to have the option and not have an ego device because not everyone has an ego device. Um, but if you do then it's it's no, not going to be a problem basically. Um, the flavour is actually surprisingly really good. Um, I'm guessing it's a silica wick in here because I get better flavour with Red Estaire with a cotton wick. Um, but I, I'm guessing that this is a silica wick because the flavour is slightly muted but it's really nothing to complain about. Um, it is up there with some of the better clear misers that I've tried but it doesn't beat the Nature Vape Mini and Midi in my opinion which I'll put a link, I think it's up here for that. Um, the Nature Vape for me is the best clear miser which I've tried to date uh, and that's because they use organic cotton wicks and micro coils and I just I, I love an organic cotton micro coil setup and just but other than that I mean I really can't like fold this you can see the vape production is really good as well and I've had no dry hits from this um, it's it's worked really well it's kept up with my liquid especially since it's 50-50 PGVG but if you use a higher PG-VG ratio liquid, like a higher VG liquid, um, you might have a little bit of trouble with wicking problems. Um, so that's something to keep in mind if you're going to use these. Make sure you use a 50-50 liquid at least, or a PG heavier liquid. Um, but other than that, for £3.20 for a clear miser that performs as well, uh, you really can't complain because you can get clear misers out there which are more expensive than this. They don't even perform anywhere close to this. Uh, for example, I did a review on an iGo eSig with a CE5 clear miser, which again I'll put a link up here to that and in the description down below. And that just performed appallingly, and the CE5 clear misers are around the same price. Um, so for this price, you really get a good product that looks nice. But the drip tip, you can't take it off, which is kind of handy. Uh, but at the same time, I like to be able to have my own drip tip because I just like a straight drip tip. And since it stips around the middle, uh, it, it fits in your mouth well, but I personally don't like the way that feels on my lips. I prefer just a straight trip tip. Um, but other than that, there's nothing that I can really floor it on. It looks nice. Um, it's got this nice clean stainless steel bit around the bottom with the nice smooth thread in. And it performs better than most clear misers out there for a cheaper price. The head's are only £2, which is a really good deal. Um, but like I said in the long run, it be a little bit more expensive. So for me this is a good purchase if you're a beginner um, or if you're not a beginner and you just want something simple to just grab, take out the house and use, then you wouldn't be too disappointed with the vape if you're used to stuff like K funds and T funds and stuff like that. But yeah, it's it's not bad at all. Um, so definitely check it out. Uh, the link will be up here to their website. And um, this is the Tango 2 dual coil clear miser and I hope you enjoyed this video leave a comment and a like and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and thank you for watching